I am going to go from a 40, 45 minute loading time for the Sherp down to five minutes. I got myself a Sherp trailer. I'm really excited. The thing seems stronger than hell. Looks like it's going to last forever. It works for my Sherp Pro and it also works for a Sherp N, so I could use it again too if I would happen to get another one sometime in the future. Very excited. Hey everybody, Dan here from Sure BT. We are on our way to Bemidji, Minnesota, which is about 500 miles away from my house, but I actually stayed at a friend's house about halfway. Um, so I've got about a five hour drive right now to get there. Looking forward to it. Banana or two, and we are off. Well, we made it safe and sound, so that's good. Special thanks to Josh from Sherp USA helping me get that trailer all hooked up, taking away some time on a Saturday to get the whole transaction complete. Greatly appreciated. We are off and running. Back to my buddy's house and stay overnight there tonight and then I'll get back home. So this is the first time I'm trying out this brand new Sherp trailer. Drove to Bemidji, Minnesota to pick this baby up, so I've already put 500 miles on it. It pulls like an absolute dream with nothing on it. Wasn't any bouncing around, nothing like that. Looks like everything is uh, fairly complete and very well made. Only thing I did, which was extremely minor, is I vacuumed out some metal filings in the storage compartment here and I put some uh, silicone gasket around that with the hopes to see if we can keep that water tight. So let's turn this Sherp on and see how she works. So I have to admit, this is the first time I was on this trailer and I was a little bit nervous. I didn't want to go too fast and I didn't want to stop at different places. That's a lot steeper than what you think and it was more violent than what I was expecting, to be honest. And you can kind of see this in the middle. See, there's those two black little plates in the back side of the trailer. There's actually six of those. I was concerned that those were going to whack on the bottom of the Sherp when I brought it on. And I think I actually did it just a smidgen. Not that it would probably matter anyway. Those six are there. When you let the air out of the tires, it rests right on that trailer. And it takes up all the weight so it doesn't bounce around at all. And another view. With time, I'm definitely going to get much better at this. I am so grateful for this trailer. Loading and unloading is going to be so much faster. Let's give her one more shot here. Second time I went on the trailer, it was much smoother. Didn't let off from the clutch and I felt confident. So that was a good thing. But the first time that I went off of the trailer, I was a little bit nervous, to be honest. You have to go up that little bit of a ridge there, and it just didn't feel right because the front tire is going up at an angle at the same time. So it's just going to take a little bit of getting used to. Kind of like just having a Sherpa in general takes some time to go at some of these angles that, quite honestly, are just not natural. Oh, like I said, this is going to make my life so much easier. The trailer is very well made, um, completely galvanized. I think those tires, they, they weren't even 12-ply tires. I think they were actually 16. 10,000-pound 10, axle, oil-filled, never had one of those before. Just crazy. I might have had a little bit too much tire pressure and I was probably at about, I don't know, 90 um, millimeters of mercury. And I should have been down a little bit more, but I just didn't get her done. Those little plates are pretty cool. There's a total, again, of six of those on the bottom. And when you let out that air pressure, that holds all the way it's to the shirt. kind of cool about this trailer you have to get it loaded. Here on the tires, 
Yeah, the people that see this probably know it already, but again, you can let all of the air pressure out of the tires with a valve that's inside of the cab. And to fill up the tires again, you just close that valve again and open another valve so the exhaust is redirected into the tires and then you close everything up and that's how you fill up the tires. So right now we're letting that air pressure out and I didn't measure it, but I'll bet you that uh, the tires went down probably about four inches until they rested on those plates. I wasn't perfectly centered on that trailer, and I probably could have done a little bit better job, but they still were in a fine spot. And I don't see where that chirp could go at all. You know, it's going to be so much easier not to have to put those straps right over the tires like I did before. I'll just utilize those bumpers, and there's a number of different tie-down places, uh, and kind of go from there. Then just the outside of the chirp, so you can just kind of see. It really doesn't look like the tires are flat when it's on the trailer. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. Here's some more specs on that trailer. Hope to be using it soon. Got a number of different things planned here this summer. It's going to be a blast. Can't wait. This thing is going to make my life again so much easier. It pulls so much better because you're so much lower to the ground. You're not fighting off all that wind. I'm really looking forward to this. Got a trailer or two to sell as a result of getting this, but that's all good. The only thing negative is my real Sherp trailer won't fit in the back, but we'll worry about that at a later time. Hope everything's going well. Take care.